All right, I'm Lewis from My Energy. And I'm Nikki, and today we are super, super excited because we have got the brand new Mercedes EQA. Obviously, at My Energy, we know an awful lot about the EV charging, but we don't know anything about the cars themselves. So I'm super excited to take this out for a spin and tell you what we think, really. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so initial impressions. It's pretty nice. It's pretty um, futuristic. Everything's very digital. Everything's touch screeny. Touch screeny, yeah. technical term. Yeah. Like this it. little trackpad here is also touch screeny. It's like <laughs> touch, touch anything. Everything is touch screeny. Yeah. Everything. Everything's touch screeny. Don't turn the radio on there, that's really bad. No, don't turn the radio on. We don't have a musical <laughs> license, so don't put that on. That's a bad idea. It's quite nice to see that it's actually very similar to petrol, diesel, Mercedes, because I think when manufacturers make electric cars, they quite often change the interior to make it look substantially different to the existing yeah, range. Yeah. But actually, I like that they've stuck to the same interior aesthetic. Yeah, for sure. It's much nicer. Should we? Take it for a drive and see what the crap yeah, is. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I like a reversing camera, but I've never seen one with such a tight turning circle. <laughs> you see how far this is going yeah. across? And then we don't, we can figure out, because these things go like this. Yeah. So I think that might be like, you know, on your on car, it has like the little spitty thing. Yeah, I think that's just on off. Yeah, right? yeah it is. The oh, same it is. in mine, yeah. Oh, mine. do you drive a Mercedes? Oh, do you drive a Mercedes? Ooh. You fancy bugger. <laughs> Um, yeah, but this is it's just slightly more modern than mine. This is? Yeah. This screen is like the new thing for Mercedes. So oh. usually it was like a tiny little first edition iPad type vibe. Okay. Um, but now they've expanded it across the full screen and it's touch screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. And these these little black nodules, okay. black, do the same thing. Yeah. So that you can, do they do that in your car as well? Um, no, because I don't have... This is like, I think this is newer. So mine's a 2018 model and they kind of updated it around that time. Right. It's like 1819. Yeah, yeah. I'll, um... But also you only get like these features, this steering wheel in the AMG line. Yeah, this is the AMG line. Yeah. So I'm just gonna wait, I'm going so to nice. patiently wait. Just feel, feel. it. Okay. It's so soft. Which, oh, yeah, this feels so good. That's why I'm steering from the rest of the day. Gliding the yeah. hands <laughs> <laughs> This is sounding more and more like an MS advert. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this isn't just any uh, car. No, 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 no. You got <laughs> 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 it wrong. <laughs> That's the last line of the advert. Oh. So it's like smooth steering wheel. Like, ah, and do you know what I mean? You give loads yeah, of different yeah, things, yeah, and then it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, this isn't just any car. Right. This is a Mercedes. <laughs> Cruise control on her steering wheel. Volume up and down on the other side. Touchable. Black buttons. And the smoothest feel you've ever felt. This isn't just any steering wheel. This is a Mercedes EQS 250 Plus steering wheel. EQA! EQA! QA steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Impression yeah. of the Nitro FC One X. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like what's the fastest? What's the fastest cake of the cake shop? Scum. <laughs> the, the, the electric version. So in ten years' time, that jerk will be. Scum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two, two hundred and ninety something brick horsepower, right? It's 190 brake horsepower. 190. 290. Alright, <laughs> but still there. It's yeah. pretty. <laughs> That's pretty decent. Yeah, it's a little yeah. horse. Does anyone actually. Bear horses. Yeah. Quad car mids. No. I don't know. Yeah, buddy. Does it mean? I have no idea. We've got a 30 to 60 coming up. I was, I'm sitting at 30 right now. But I guess 300 brake horsepower in, in comparison to 100 horsepower is only really recognisable by nipples. 
<laughs> that was only to 50. Disclaimer, this ride is safe to do that as well. <laughs> yeah, but it's literally... I'm always so stuck with <laughs> Especially with diesel, because diesel's a little bit more sluggish than the petrol. You put your foot on the accelerator, it takes a little bit of time to get there, like yes. you've got like a couple of seconds before you really get that. You don't have that with electric cars, it's like especially with this. Right? It's literally straight away. Yeah. The second your foot touches that pedal, you've got. Based on 200 miles a week for an electric car, journey fuel cost, 19 pounds. Petrol. For 200 miles a week. For 200 miles a week in a Mercedes-Benz EQA, so this car we're in now, yeah. 19 pounds a week, journey fuel cost. And that's if you charge at home on a standard variable rate with a Zappi. Yeah. Not including smart energy tariffs and not including if you charge with solar. Solar, yeah. So that's like the maximum if you just charge it out. Yeah. Petrol, on the current price that you literally saw at the petrol station this morning, yeah. 44 pounds. Ooh. And that's, that's that's the exact equivalent, this model, yeah. to its exact Mercedes equivalent yeah. in, in petrol. Yeah. Wow. wow. Double, more than double. Cost per mile for electric, 9.5 pence per mile. For petrol, 22.1 pence per mile. It's insane, isn't it? That's crazy. Terrible annual fuel cost for your journey, 984 for electric, 2,295 for petrol. That is crazy. What's the and price point so what's the price point different? Because imagine you save that much money a year in petrol, you have a car for four years. That is like, even if the petrol equivalent is cheaper, it's not going to be 8,000 pounds cheaper. So many numbers. Right, okay, so starting price 47,995. So it's the difference of what? So four grand. Four grand's difference. Over two years driving this in comparison to the pound of petrol, you would make that back. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel I have slightly higher prestige driving an electric than I do. Yeah, I do. I definitely do. I, the, yeah. the shame I feel whenever I have to drive like a diesel van or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know? When I've driven an electric car for my energy, whether we've gone to a trade show event, whatever it might be, when I've driven the car and then I go home and I get back in my petrol car, the horrible yeah. sense of guilt and shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I, I, like that lady on that, what's that program where she, the ring of the bell and it's like, shame. Yeah. shame. That's how I feel. Yeah. I, I, on the recording. No, let's not stop recording. Oh. Do the little... Continue recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Wait. <laughs> well, you, you you don't like my start driving position. No. Right. There is. That's not how you do it. Oh. It's the spinny thing. <laughs> no, too high. There were so much leg space. But, uh, oh, what did I just do? Watch. Straight to the collar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, let's go. Wow. You know how to get back out. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I just drove in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> I just drove. <laughs> Hi Mercedes. Turn the radio on full blast. <laughs> and let's keep it. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs>